Hey babes and bros, welcome back to my channel. It's me Nikki and today I have some new elf stuff and I don't know what new products I'm going to use. But this has been like raved about in the beauty community here on YouTube for like months. It sells out every time it goes back in stock and it sells out within like hours. It's ridiculous. So I'm done blabbing. You know what? Let's just hop into this. Okay, so I ended up purchasing like three different face primers from e.l.f. So I have the Glow Up Primer Serum, the Hydrating Primer Serum, and then of course I have this guy. Would it be weird to combine a serum and a putty? Well, I think I'm gonna go with the Hydrating Primer Serum. Okay, I don't wanna grab too much. I actually love the packaging and I love the button. Huh. I mean, it has a little bit of a smell, but it's not like, it doesn't smell like florally. It's kind of a bland smell. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And you know what? It's crazy, because it feels just like a serum. Not shabby. It is a little bit, like a very, very tiny amount tacky as it dries down, which honestly, that's, that's a really good thing if you wanna keep your makeup in place all day. Now, if you guys are using like a powder foundation, I don't think this would be a good primer for that, um, just because it is like super tacky and I feel like if you're buffing, you're gonna either cake the powder up on certain areas, it's not gonna be evenly buffed and distributed, or what could happen is you could be buffing and then remove some of the primer. I am gonna go ahead and go in with the primer putty as well though. So another thing to note, guys, I have long nails and like getting in this with long nails, <laughs> It's a little rough. I mean, that's not gonna prevent me from using it, but I'm gonna have to like dig into it a little bit harder. And I've got some like on the tip of my nail. I mean, that's gonna happen, I guess. Oh, this actually feels really nice. Wait, what? Guys, this feels really good on the skin. And it does kind of give a little bit of a blurring effect. Well, look at that. I don't even know how much to apply, to be honest. Like, I, I have no experience with this. I'm gonna put just a little bit on my neck. I think I'm going to avoid my eye area because I have another primer that I wanna try. It does seem to have, like, lightened some of the redness on my nose, which I, <laughs> I was not expecting that because it's not a color correcting primer. So I left the under eye area alone because I ended up purchasing two of these. I have the Sheer Blurring Under Eye Primer here from e.l.f. It's $5, and I bought one and I tried it once for a look. Um, I didn't wear it all day, and so it wasn't really much of a first impression. It was just a very five minute, I'm gonna put this on and try this eyeliner and this eyeshadow underneath my eyes to see. It was kind of like an editorial look that I was going with, and then I never ended up finishing it because it was really late. But I love the way that it feels underneath my eye, and I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here because I want you guys to see this. So it does look a little bit more blurred on this side than it does over here. It kind of fills in my lines a little bit, which I don't have a ton, but when I smile, I've got quite a few. So I think that's gonna be really helpful. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys out now. All right, cool. I love having long nails, but let me tell you, it's a struggle sometimes. Like, if someone asked me if I wanted to have long nails 10 years ago, I would have said, no way. I liked having short nails, like just short and sporty. And now I've gotten better at doing my own nails and I started doing gels. And I just really, really like having long nails now. Like, I've learned to type with them. like. I can zip up my pants. I also have another primer. This is the eyeshadow primer, the All Day Stay eyeshadow primer. So let me pull this out and I'm going to apply this after I drop the lid on my lap. Okay, so I've applied some to the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take a brush and I am going to apply that. I am really enjoying how soft and moisturizing these products feel. Like, I love e.l.f. Cosmetics, but every now and again, you know, they've got a miss. They have a product that doesn't really hit the mark, and coming out with a bunch of new stuff that I haven't tried, I was like, 
Sign me up. Let me try these. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. And for the foundation, I'm actually using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 hour fresh wear in 425. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat a little bit on here. And while I do my foundation, oh my gosh, guys. So the beauty community almost imploded on itself last week and that was kind of painful to see I, I don't know how you guys feel about it but I am not a drama channel so I'm not really gonna get into how I feel about it I I don't I'm not really one for animosity um, it's just it's really not worth it guys like being angry and negative and hateful it doesn't help anyone it really doesn't I just you know I want to bring positivity to our community. I f we need it more than ever. Okay, so I know that everyone has their own method of applying makeup, their own steps in whatever order they do. I'm actually going to let this foundation set for just a little bit before I set it. I know it sounds crazy, but I have two different primers on underneath and I really wanna get my brows done. Um, I do have a new product from e.l.f. This is the Wow Brow, which let me tell you, like I didn't know what to expect um, when it came to size, and this is actually kind of tiny, not complaining. This is perfect for travel, and it's only like $4. So I did order one in a darker shade. Um, this is in taupe. I opened it up to look at it, and I realized it's probably gonna be a little bit, maybe too light for what I normally go for but I'll be using it here in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm going to take the e.l.f. brow pencil and this is in taupe as well. And I'm just gonna fill in where I need filled in. I'm gonna try and keep my eyebrows a little bit simple today because I really wanna use that brow gel. There we go. And then I'm hopping in with the wow brow and we'll see how wow this stuff is. Yeah, it looks kind of blonde to be honest, but I don't know. We'll see. You know what? This isn't bad. Like, I thought it would be way too light. In my mind, I didn't think it would work how I wanted it to, but that's not bad. All right. I see you, elf. I'm going to go ahead and kind of mute out some of the freckles and veins on my eyes by using the elf 16 hour camo concealer in light beige. And I'm applying a little bit of this on the back of my hand, like so. This dries so fast, so I'm going to be working incredibly quick. I'm just going to take a brush here, and I am going to just kind of buff around and get in my inner corner area because Lord knows I need some extra love there. It's a little rough. So if you go to use this, and I love the product. I'm not going to say it's bad because it's not but you need to be like on the ball. Like even Tarte Shape Tape would dry down a little bit too fast for me, and I still loved it. Um, however, since I've gotten this, I have not purchased another Tarte Shape Tape, which is craziness, because I've been using that for probably two years now. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take an e.l.f. powder to set this, and this is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Translucent Fair to Light. So I'm going to go ahead and get me a brush and I am going to just kind of pat this on. It's really going to help with blending eyeshadow later. Okay, so I went ahead and let the powder sit on my eyes and I am trying to find all of my e.l.f. palettes and I'm missing a few. So here are the ones I have to work with. I might use more than one. I have the e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold, I have the e.l.f. Prism Palette in Smoke, I have the e.l.f. Mad for Matte, and I think this is the original Mad for Matte, and then I have an e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow in Naked. So I'm going to play around. I kind of want to do something a little bit more fun for summer, but not super bold. So right here I have a little cup of brushes. I have. Oh my gosh, guys, I have, here's two total, but I've got six. I have so many brushes. Um, I did actually place an order on AliExpress for some new brushes. They look kind of like the Makeup Forever brushes, which I do actually have. So this is the Makeup Forever brush right here. And this one, I mean, they have the same type of bottoms. The color of the handle is different. Um, and the bristles. 
This is a different type of real hair. If I had to guess, it reminds me a little bit of like blue squirrel maybe. Um, I paid 40 bucks for like, I think 22 or 27 brushes. It, it was something ridiculous. They are so soft. I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna use some of those brushes. I don't remember the name. I will have it linked down below. I'm not an affiliate, okay? It's just a really good deal and I'm planning on buying another set because I really do like them a lot. And I've been using them a little bit more than my Sigma and my Makeup Forever brushes. Don't judge me. I'm taking one of those AliExpress brushes. This is a really, really big puffy fluffy brush. I'm going to hop in to the Mad for Matte palette, the OG original one. And I'm gonna take, you know what, we'll go with the shade right here. I'm gonna grab that one. And I'm going to put it in my crease. Because I really do like this shade, actually. There's a huge dip in that shade because I use it a lot. But it is really, really nice. It's a nice nude shade. And it's not too far off from my skin tone. So if I wanna go and just wear like two eyeshadow shades and call it a day, I can. And it just creates a really nice contour without looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, if that makes any sense. Okay, so while I blend this out, I guess I can get you guys caught up on my life. So my friend Jen is having her first baby, and I am so excited, oh my gosh. She's had infertility issues for a while, and I think she kind of just gave up on it, and then it just happened. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in with this reddish shade right here. I'm gonna put that in the outer crease. So. I really wanted to do something really special for her and I told her that I would be willing to take her maternity pictures and oh my gosh guys, I'm, I mean I was a little nervous about it because I'm not a professional but I do understand lighting and I understand like posing and I, you know, from like being in a photography group, um, I was their makeup artist for about I think 13 or 14 different photographers. so. I worked with them and then I would go like we would travel and do seminars and like I would listen in um, just because they didn't really talk about makeup they just talked about lighting and different lenses and stuff like that so I kind of like I retained all that information just because it was cool and I was interested in it I still liked the idea and it helped me understand like what makeup would be you know, better for what type of settings and lighting and, and all that. So that was really neat to have the hands-on experience. And I really wanted to do her maternity photos as a gift. So we actually did that last weekend and they turned out so good. I, you know what, I might even insert one of the pictures here. I don't think she'd mind. And I'm gonna blend all of this out just a little bit more beautiful skies, beautiful weather for the entire time that we were taking pictures. We've actually just circled the entire park and we were close to the parking lot and it started to rain and we were like, perfect timing. Holy crap, guys. So my camera battery died and I realized that I had forgotten to charge the other one because I had taken it with us to take my friend's maternity pictures. So, um, it's been a while. Um, again, the lighting may be a little bit different. It's now nighttime. I started filming this around 1 p.m. and it is now 6.42 p.m. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I, <laughs> so my face has been half done for a while. My makeup, it is not breaking up. The only problem I see with it being on as long as it's been is on my forehead and my wrinkles, but they're pretty prominent wrinkles on my forehead and it doesn't matter what foundation I use, what primer, they're there and things just get in it. So with that being said, everything else, like I figured my nose would be the first area that this would like start to break up or even right here by my mouth and that's not the case. So the primer is good. Like it's, it's really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and finish up this makeup look. Okay. So I'm actually going to hop into the prism palette here from elf and naked, and I'm going to go ahead and take, you know what? I'm going to do this like cream right here and apply this right on the eyelid. I think that'll look really cool. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit more of this reddish brown shade right here and I'm going to pop that 
on the outer edge again just to kind of blend in with that cream shade that I just applied just to kind of help soften it a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and hop right back in with the Mad for Matte and I'm grabbing this shade right here to go underneath the eye but I just want to apply this underneath my eye just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. I don't know, I'm kind of digging the whole low-key neutral look. I love bold eyeshadow looks, oh my gosh, I totally do. But this is like really, really easy and it's really, really pretty and it doesn't take a lot of effort to do and it looks kind of nice and put together, you know? So now I'm gonna hop right back into the palette and I'm gonna grab the lightest shade in here. And this is the Mad for Matte yet again. And I'm just going to apply that right below my brow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend a little bit here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use an eyeshadow as my eyeliner. And I'm going to take this dark brown right here and that's what I'm going to use. I'm literally just patting this along my lashes and kind of smudging just a pinch. You know what guys, I'm kind of itching to do this. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the lightest shade in this prism palette and I might just apply it on the inner corner. So just a little bit. I feel like that would attract a little bit of light. That's really, really pretty. I'm really loving for this. I like this a lot. I'm going to use light sand and this is the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dot it a bit and then working very, very quickly, I'm going to hop in with a beauty blender and blend my little heart out. And then I'm actually gonna hop back in with my Prime and Stay Finishing Powder from e.l.f. And I will be applying this right on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in with a MAC mascara. I apologize, I can't remember what this one's called, um, but I will have everything that I use linked down below, of course. I love this brush, though. This brush is awesome. It's like huge. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty decent size. And I'm going to hop in with my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural from MAC. This is in medium deep. Freaking love this. You guys can see a huge dip in this. This is like tried and true. I have two of them because I love them so much. Um, this is a really, really good shade. And I'm just going to hop in with a super huge, fat, fluffy brush for this. And I am going to tap off the excess or else it's going to get crazy. I am going to kind of bronze up the edge of my face a little bit, my cheekbones. This brush is so amazing for bronzer. It has become my ride or die. And it's super, super soft. This is another brush that I got from AliExpress when I bought that big set of brushes and I just really, really love this brush. Like I wish I had this the past 10 years of my life. So for the blush today, I'm hopping in with Gold Rush here from Benefit. And if you have not seen this color in person, what are you doing with your life? Go to Sephora check it out. It is fantastic. This is going to be a go-to blush for me for summer and fall just because I really like this color on my skin tone. I don't know how much I'm going to apply. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> you know, that's definitely like a staple for Benefit blushes. They always smell so good. This just smells delicious. <laughs> it's like almost dangerous. So for the highlight, I think I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do my lipstick real fast, and I'll debate on doing that. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm leaning towards no, but I might. Who knows? This is Icon from the Gen Nude Collection by Bare Minerals, and I freaking love their Gen Nude Matte Lipsticks. They are dope. So let's go ahead and talk about these items, because I'm... 
I'm impressed, guys. So this is the Hydrating Primer Serum. This retails for 10 bucks. And let me tell you, I was a little bit impressed because this is glass. And I figured it was going to come in a plastic tube, but no, it's glass. So presentation is spot on. And I'm looking in the light. I think it was the Mineral Infused Face Primer. There wasn't much product in it. I can see the amount of liquid in here and it's straight up full like I mean it is to right here and that is awesome so ten dollars for this um, let's say I'm gonna click down on the button once so this is about the amount that I actually used um, there's a lot of product in here for ten bucks I think that's great now the poreless putty primer i can't really go into specifics per one because i use them together but for first impression i'm going to continue to use these two together i know it sounds crazy i just look like i'm glowing guys and i'm not wearing highlighter i did not put any on so this just looks really clean it looks really sleek my texture is like less noticeable my pores i can't even see half the pores on my nose so that's a huge win for me anyways um, and I have large pores on my nose so this poreless putty primer this was different for me like I've never used a putty primer or the Tatcha product if you have long nails I don't know if you guys can see this but my nails did kind of dig in a little bit um, I might try and use like a beauty blender or something in the future and just see if that works better with it um, either way though eight bucks this is nice. This this is going to be my new combination for makeup. Like, oh my gosh, you have no idea. I like this, but I feel like this would be better for someone who doesn't have as many wrinkles under the eye as I do. Um, maybe I applied too much. I don't know. But what I will say is that it has kind of creased, like, where my lines are. I have a few prominent ones under each eye. And it looks like it's, yeah, it's totally creased and caked in there. So I don't know about this for myself. Maybe if I applied the primers that I used earlier on first, because I avoided the entire eye area with these two primers. Maybe next time I'll apply both of those to my entire face instead of leaving this area out. And then I'll go in with this and see if that does anything for me. I will still continue to use this because I want to figure out what works with it. Five bucks, guys. Like, if I can find a way to make this work, I'm going to. Like, I'm going to do everything I can. The e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. This feels pretty similar to their, like, $1 eyelid primer. Um, but it is a little bit different. But it's pretty similar to it in, in texture anyways. And what I have to say is that it is not creasing. So it looks really good. Um, it does have a little bit of like a, not really oily feeling, but like a, it has a very slippery feeling. And so when I put that on, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, things are gonna like slide around on my eyelids for sure. And that hasn't happened. So I'm, I'm kind of impressed. In fact, I'm gonna be ordering another one of these because I am running low on my primer potion from Urban Decay. And yeah, um, this isn't bad for four bucks. And last but not least, guys, the Wow Brow. I absolutely love having eyebrows that are so sharp that they could kill a man. I think it's just, I don't know, it's my style, it's, it's my thing. However, if I'm in a hurry, or if I'm going to work, I'm not gonna sit there and like spend 10 minutes on my brows making sure they look nice. Like, let's just keep it real. I wake up at the latest possible time. It's like, I've got, I've got my morning planned out by the minute. So it's like, I know exactly how much time I need to get ready. With that being said, this is gonna be a nice little shortcut for me. I literally can just like brush it in and go. My brows, they look exactly the same color as my eyebrows without any product. So this and the little eyebrow pencil from e.l.f., this set would be, I think, $6 total. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, it, it set everything. However, it's not, I mean, it's a little stiff, but it's not, like, crunchy, if that makes any sense. So, like, I can still brush through it, and it looks fine. 
it's not flaking all over my face and it just looks really nice I like it in fact you guys might laugh you know I do my makeup how I want to however my boyfriend is not a fan of me doing like the really bold eyebrows and even though I personally love it um, sometimes he just kind of stares at my eyebrows <laughs> like, so when I showed him my brows today he was like those look really nice and I'm like oh cool <laughs> He liked them. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And he commented on them. So I was like, oh, cool. Thanks. That makes me feel nice. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, this, this is definitely going to be a keeper. Definitely for work. Um, or if I'm in a hurry or if I'm traveling to see his family, this is going to be coming with me. Before I end the video, I have to share my nails with you. I know it sounds crazy, but just hear me out. It took me like an hour and I'd gotten a new stamp and it's actually a constellation stamp. I'm a Libra, my boyfriend's a Scorpio, and I thought that was kind of cute. Um, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to do this sometime, um, it definitely like changes colors in the light. It's super pretty. It, it's my take on a galaxy nail. I don't know, I had some fun with it last night. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see something like this, and I'd be happy to make a video like that for you. So that's basically it for this video. So leave a comment, like my video if you enjoyed it, and give me, I don't know, a subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you guys have tried any of the products that I used today, please let me know what you think about them. I need some feedback from you guys. I need to know, like, is there one that you just can't live without? Like, is there one that just changed your game? Also, e.l.f. just released some new skincare and I'm eyeballing it. I haven't tried it yet. Obviously, I have a lot of the ordinary that I'm still working through, but there's a few things that I'm like, ooh, so I may end up picking up a few things. I don't know. Um, let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you're interested in trying that. And if you could, give me the top three things that you love from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Like, are there three products that you just keep repurchasing or that you can't live without? I've tried almost everything. There's maybe like 15, 20 things I haven't tried from e.l.f. Let me know what you like. And that way, if maybe any of those are on the list of things I haven't tried, I might pick it up. I don't know. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. So this is the e.l.f. Blurring Under Eye Primer, um, right? Um, I've got the e.l.f. Need, or sorry, Need, huh? Burp. It has been... gonna happen again.